Hi, it's Richard from Racing Profits Guides. Um, this is the second part of my Nottingham course walk videos. Uh, on this video, we're going to walk around the round course. Uh, the first video, if you've seen that, we did the six furlong straight course, six and five furlong straight courses, the sprint courses at Nottingham. And now we're going to walk around the round course. Um, if I bring in the course map again, I'll show you where we are. We're just down here by the finish line as you can see and we're going to walk the round circuit here and um, you'll be able to see just how tight these bends are. This end isn't too bad, um, quite a nice turn. Now this is quite a tight bend here and you'll see that we've actually, they've actually cambered the course um, to make it easier for the horses to get round this bend at the top end um, as they come into the home straight but then you're looking at about a four furlong home straight once they enter the straight. So you can see why it's such a nice galloping track because even horses that are uh, out at the back have plenty of time once they come into the straight uh, to get into their stride. So you'll see this track can suit front runners. It can also suit horses that want to come off the pace. And I think it's why it's regarded as such a fair track. Okay, so let's start the video going and we'll walk around the Nottingham course. Um, you can see the straight five and six furlong that we just walked earlier and then we'll set off around the course. Let's just speed this up a bit. Okay, so we start off around here from the stands and then you come straight into this bottom left hand bend. It's a left handed course as you know Nottingham. Very, very flat as you'll see. There's some slight undulations on the back. Uh, the back straight which has a small kink in it but you can see here that you come around this it's fairly tight is this bend at the air uh, at the top end of the course but you come around it fairly comfortably there's not too much of an issue coming around here and just over this bank here is the River Trent. So that's how close the course is to the river. Um, although it does drain pretty well, it doesn't get too heavy here. Um, but it's quite a high water table at Nottingham, so it doesn't take too much rain for it to get quite soft. So you can see here, this is the first straight on the back bend. Um, and this is where we have the, the one mile two start and then the one mile one start. And I'll show you those uh, as we come to them. You can see this white section of fencing just up here. That's the start of the one mile two. So you can see as you come up here where the stalls are going to be because there's always white sections at Nottingham in the, in the uh, fences. And obviously the one mile two on the outer track starts slightly further back from the one mile two on the inner track because that is actually the inner and the outer track we're on at the moment so you can see both courses running um running next to each other here even though that's on the outer that is actually the inner track as we have a look at the map again you'll see why so the inner track actually runs down the back straight on the outer which is a bit confusing but the outer track it's called the outer track because that's the bit that's nearest the stands so you can see that's the outer track there which is what we're walking on here and then the inner track is actually this out this uh, piece on the outside a bit confusing but once you get if you look at the map it helps you understand that so we come up you can see it's nice nice and straight up the back here and then there's this slight left hand kink halfway down and then you'll just see up ahead the one mile one furlong start which is just here that's the one mile one And then we have quite a long straight to that cambered bend at the end. Again, another good couple of furlongs up here. As we approach the one mile start here, this is the one mile on the outer and the one mile on the inner. 
and then you'll see on your right up here, you see a break in the fence. Well, this is actually the road that Freddie talks about in his um, in his interview. Freddie Tulichki talks about the horses sometimes jumping this road here. Um, and you can see that actually is the road that leads to the stable block over here. That's where the horses are stabled. And um, so it's quite um, a long walk for the horses across from the stables here. You can see the road that we're crossing here. And as I say, it's quite a long walk for the horses, especially young horses. Um, and if you listen to Trey, to James Gibbons interview that we've got on the site, uh, you'll hear him talk about how far the horses have to walk before they get to the parade ring, the uh, pre-race parade ring. Um, and often if it's a young horse, they can get unsettled there, get a bit excited. So again, it's something to bear in mind with younger horses. Uh, watch them when they're in the parade ring. Have they got excited? Have they got worked up on this long walk across the uh, across from the stables? So again, it's just something to look out for when you're at Nottingham. And then we come down the back, the rest of the back straight here. And then we come into this sharp, very sharp left hand bend at the top end here. Which leads into the home straight around this kink. There's another little kink here. And then you can see it ahead. So there's actually two kinks in the back straight there. So just after the mile start and just after the one mile two start, there's, an, uh, there's a kink in the track to the left. And then you can see we're coming up here to this sharp left hand bend that I was talking about earlier. Again, there's plenty of space, so it's not a tight track here as in width wise, but plenty of space to go around the outside if they want a bit more space. But you can see quite clearly how the course is cambered here. It actually slopes up that way. Um, now this is where, again, James Sullivan was talking about horses can often drift to the inside here, um, especially inexperienced horses as you're coming around this bend because the course naturally slopes to the inside. Now you'll see in a minute that these, these uh, rails can actually be moved in and out as well uh, to make this... Um, to make this bend either sharper or more gentle. Um, you'll see Jane talks about it, the clerk of the course who I was walking around with this day, she talks about this fencing being easy to move. Um, and the, you can see the camber here as we're coming round. We're coming now to join this, um, the straight course that we walked earlier. That's the straight course coming in here, the straight five furlong on the inside and the six furlong on the outside. So the horses have come round here into the home straight. And there you go, you can see the, the five furlong start on the inner course and then the spur that goes off up to the six furlong start. So you can see straight down there that's where they'd move the barriers out of the way if they're using the inner course here because obviously they want to have a straight five furlong straight down here when they're using the inner course through the summer. And then you swing round out onto the out onto the main straight here. You've got a good well. That's the furlong, the four furlong marker there. So you can see that you're probably talking about a four a foot, four and a half furlong straight here. So that's why even when the horses come into the straight, often the race won't start uh, unfolding until halfway down the straight when they're coming into the last two and a half, three furlongs. Um, I think Freddie in his video talks about counting to 10 twice before you start making your move. And that's because of the distance of this straight. You don't want to hit the front too early and then get swallowed up by a fast finisher at the end. So it's all about timing and judging the pace of the race here. 
and how much horse you've got left under you. And then obviously they'll be staying to the inside rail as they come down here. A lot of them stay to the inside rail or again if it's drier conditions they'll tend to go down the centre here. Um, but when there's a lot of round races you'll find that this gets slightly more compacted on the inside here because they're going around the round on it and they're also sprinting down it. So again something to bear in mind when you're looking at um, where a horse is positioned in a race. And then you'll see that you uh, come down here. And you're approaching the final furlong now. Again, the dog track on your right. So this is really where the race is unfolding now. People are delivering their challenges. Um, horses that have been held up are now starting to make their move down the centre of the track. And uh, the racing's unfolding here on the longer the longer distance races and then the we make our way down towards the half furlong point and then the finish line we've done the full circuit that's the furlong And see how long this straight is. It really is a, a mammoth wide open space down here. I mean, horses are going to need plenty of cover coming into this before they go out for it. Delivered for the challenge, and then you can see the finish lines just ahead here as you come past the, past the stands. And that's it, across the finish line.